What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. My name is Lisa, and today we are here with Trey23. What's going on, my friend? What's up? How are you? I'm good. How you feeling? I'm good. Something I need to ask. How did you come up with that name? It's my area code. Okay. Trey23. My name is Trey, but Trey means three. You know, and so it's like 323. Trey23. Three, three. Okay, that's time, hard. So. That is hard. Have you had that, like, forever now? Like, when did you, you're like, this is my name. This is what it is. I mean, I always wanted to incorporate something like when it comes to my city, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like I love my city, so it's always been a part of me, you know what I mean? I love that. And you're from Los Angeles? Yeah. Born, born and raised? raised? Born and raised. Where in Los Angeles? South Central. Nice. Mm -hmm. So you really repre you're really representing. Yeah, That's absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Um, so you just released a single, mm -hmm. your first single of the year. Outside Like This. Amazing. I loved it. It was so dope. Thank you. How, how is that going? And it's good. It's going crazy. The, the results is skyrocketing right now. That's so, amazing. Yeah, we're definitely excited about it. You know, and it's about to be Grammy weekend and, you know, I'm talking to, you know, I mean, you heard it, so you yeah. know what's going on, but I'm excited about it. That is so exciting. Give yeah. us the rundown of what that's about. It's, it's pretty much about me running into a certain person. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like a lot of people can relate to that. Like, this city is, I mean, L.A., but L.A. is not that big. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So, you know, we be outside. We go to events. We do this. We do that. And you just having a time of your life and just imagine seeing somebody that you used to deal with. Yeah. In a certain situation, talking to somebody else or whatever, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory yeah, yeah. That, you know? when it happened were you like yeah i gotta write about this like, yeah right away, i like, actually made it it's crazy as soon as the event was over i went to the studio and made it oh wow like the same night like same I got night done, same night That's i got crazy. done i got done at like one i probably like 2 a.m and i just went straight to the studio and, and you just, just let that out yeah see i feel like you get the best stuff in the in the right moments for sure right in the for moment sure. absolutely Tell us uh, a little bit about your come up. Like, how is working with Nick Cannon? How did that all come about? Yeah, I mean, it's a blessing, man. You know, that, that's like my big brother. We've been locked in for so many years. So yeah. he um, he gives me so much game. Like, just even outside of music, you know what I mean? Like, that's my brother forever. So, um, but I had met him. I had met him in the studio, actually. Like, I was, I was working a regular nine to five job and some people that he had worked with, um, they came into that job that I was working in. Yeah. And we were just talking about like shoes at first. I sell I sold shoes like back then, you know. Yeah. So it went from shoes, and then we started talking about music and what I do and things like that. And then um, I started working with them, and Nick Cannon had just came into the studio probably like I say, probably like three months into just working with the people that you know yeah. he, he works with. And um, I played him some of the music, some of the things that we were working on, and we just had like some real conversations. And he was just like, man, like. You know, you remind me of myself. Like, that's what he told me. He's like, you remind me of myself. And, you know, I'm rocking with you. Like, I rock with what you got yeah. going on. And just my hustle, like, the way I was um, just moving about in life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would save up my lunch money. I would save up my money from my nine to fives for studio time. You know, I was just that motivated. So it's like, he just, it was something that I feel like he could respect. You know what I mean? That's, and he respects it. that's so amazing. What I think is so cool about that is that, you know, you see a lot of people popping off on TikTok and whatnot, and yeah. you really had that like moment of right time and right place, Absolutely. and it just was so on beat for you. Yeah, and it's just nice to hear. It's yeah. such a fresh, dope story. For sure, you know, and yeah. like to have a mentor like that to yeah. understand you, and especially you know, working a nine to five, and then you have this guy really like just guiding you and mentoring you. That's yeah. that is so sick. It's a blessing, man. It is an it's absolute blessing. blessing. Good for you. Yeah. How has it been on like Wildin' Out? How you feel? It's, like, fun. it's fun. I love Wildin' Out. I mean, the whole cast is like family now. I've been on the last three seasons, so yeah. Wildin' Out is lit, man. It's it's just jokes and just the personality comes out, man. It's yeah. fun. They just bring it out of you organically. So yeah. What's your it. What's your favorite diss that you either gave to somebody or somebody gave to you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I say the one I I had called Justina a hot Cheeto, man. Ah! Just. That's my dog too, you know. Shout out Justina, man. Oh, uh, Justina! I saw that you also had a track with her. She, yeah, she yeah. hopped on a track. Yep, yep. Vroom on uh, my last EP. That's amazing. Did you were you guys in the studio together? Like, how was that? Nah, I had actually sent her the record because I think she's on the East Coast with it. So yes, I had yeah, sent, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sent her the record, um, but 
she sent it back and the verse was crazy. She like, it. Yeah, yeah, she's she spazzed. Really, she spazzes. She went crazy. She really does go yeah, crazy. For sure. Um, so like, you know, 2023, do you yeah. have any like artists, producers that you are just so like down to work with? Like who would it be? Yeah, I mean, um, Ayo the producer is somebody that I've definitely been wanting to work with. I've been a fan of his work since I was a kid. Yeah. Like, just coming up and he's worked on so much of like Bryson stuff and Chris oh, yeah. Brown and just the list goes on you know yeah. what I mean so A.O. the producer is definitely somebody that's my dog too um, I got some stuff with O.G. Parker um, that's another producer that's like a goat you know what I'm yeah. saying uh, Troy Taylor we got some stuff but we definitely just want to lock in more um, and then it's the home team you know my, my boy Retro uh, him beats, uh, Jada Great, you know what I mean? Just so many people, man. It's, music is in a good space right now. Yeah. yeah. So. And you're like, you're in the right lane, and I feel like a lot of these people that you named, that's so yeah. adaptable for you. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. Any, uh, any songs in the works? Any, like, yeah. do you have any EPs, albums? What's up? Yeah. Let so the people know what's so, up. So we got an EP coming out um, actually on 323, uh, which is called Long Story Short. And I got um I got Simba on the project. It's my brother, Simba. Uh, Simba. I got yeah. <laughs> I got um Seven Streeter on the project. Mm, I feel like I'm missing. Oh, I got Pleasure P. My big brother, That's Pleasure dope. P. On there. Yeah, that so. is so dope. It's definitely a vibe. It's it's a versatile project. It's yeah. a very versatile project. So. Yeah, and that's coming out three two three. That's amazing. I love mm -hmm. the name of it. What came? How'd you come up with that? Um, long story short, I just feel like you know it. <laughs> it, it, it tells it. It tells a story. You yeah. know, it tells a story. It's really showing who I am through the music. You know, down yeah. to the Afro beat side, down to R and B, down to just like the current R and B, and we take it back just for the like with the nostalgic feel. Yeah. Um with the song that I got with Pleasure P, you know what I mean? So it's just like, it really just, I feel like it captures who I am. It's yeah, let's talk bad, about this bro. style right now. Yeah. What's going on, you chilly? <laughs> you um, hey, listen, it's winter <laughs> time. I I, it's crazy. It's winter time for LA, this is cold. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? It's cold for LA, so. Yeah, yeah I threw this song, like, you know, this Put song. it together yourself? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's no awesome. Stylus, no stylus on this one. Man. <laughs> no stylus. You don't need a stylus. You got it going Appreciate on yourself. That. Thank you. Thank so you how know. do you balance out the Wild Mount career and with your music? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, my music is just like when I'm locked in with my music, I'm locked in with my music like 24-7. It's not really a lot of other things going on. So um, when it comes to like the Wild and Out and just like being on TV, we... I got a good team, you know, yeah. and they, they figure out a good way to mesh everything together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, and then with Nick being involved with both, you know what I'm saying, music and TV, it just makes sense. Yeah, so know? it's like it's not overwhelming for yeah, you. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, it feels like home no matter where I go, whether it's the studio, whether it's TV, it's the same vibe. Yeah, know? that's amazing. With a great team, I feel like, you know, that's how you really rise up. Yeah. You know, when people give you that balance and, and work with you and yeah. put you in that good position, that's amazing. Absolutely. Is uh, it more of like an A&R thing with him or, or a mentorship? You yeah, know, how do you yeah. feel? Nick is definitely like like a, a brother more than anything, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like even down to just, you know, he'll call me, like we have, we just talk on FaceTime, just however we talk and he'll let me know about just a lot of things, like even just staying true to my substance, like yeah. staying true to my sound, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just no matter what, like he gives me so much game, like just on a daily basis, down to just women, down to girls, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's, yeah. just, it's, a, it's a big brother, little brother relationship, yeah. you know what I mean? Overall, over anything, so. Yeah. Do you ever like, do you, do you send some music? Like, and are you like, hey dude, like, do you like this? Like, is this I send cool? him music all the time. Yeah. I send him unreleased music all the time and he'll tell me what he feels and, you know, just give me the rundown on it. Yeah. And, and that's like, it happens with almost like all my music. I just be sending, sending it to them, you know. You know, of I, course. Yeah, that's like my dog. That's my dog for yeah, real. Yeah, so, you need yeah. that feedback. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you get like a writer's block? And if you ever do, mm. how do you deal with that? You know, I've, I've felt that a couple times. Like, I've only felt it a couple times. But when I deal with it, it's like, I like to... I like to be, I have to be outside more. You know what I mean? Like if I have writer's block or if I feel like I can't, I don't know what to talk about or I don't know what topic or whatever the case is, like 
I like to just go outside, experience life, go travel, go do certain things yeah. like that. You know what I mean? And I feel like it'll just naturally come. It will naturally. That's how outside like this came. You know, like the the single that's out now. It's just like. I was literally just outside having fun, doing my thing, just being, you know, being me. Yeah. And the situation happened, you know. I'm so caught off guard. I see the chick I'm used to deal with and the situation, and then I just come home and I just make music in the studio, and it's just, that's the best way that things happen, you know, organically. It's, so. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So 2023, what yeah. is like, what's the goal for you this year? What do you really want to just get yourself into what you see for yourself yeah I think 2023 I'm really just showing people who I am like I feel like you know I've put out music before but this is really getting this is really like my time to show people who Trey 23 is Absolutely. you know what I mean what Trey 23 is about the music that I make is 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 so much more advanced like I've I've um I've elevated so much just in my skill. I got a great A and R. Shout out to my bro Knowledge. We just been in the studio, just working and just like, you know, just pretty much like shooting in the gym, you know, in, yeah. in a sense. And we've we've come up with so many creative ideas, and um, I'm just excited for people to hear, you know, what, yeah. what's in store, man, what we've been working on. And before I noticed that you were talking a lot about the camera that we're using today. Yeah. Do you are you into film? Like what's yeah, up with that? It's just you know, I'm very hands on with everything I do. Like everything I do. You know, down to my music videos, down to my music. Like sometimes it gets on my team's nerves, I could tell, because I'm so punctual like, about it. Yeah, very, <laughs> but it's just like, you know, as an artist, you have to be very serious about your craft and serious about what you do. So um, and that's with anything, you know. Yeah. When, when that's with anything, no matter what you do. So I'm, I'm like that. I'm very hands on, just even down to the lens, down to the camera that's being used, down to everything, you know. So. I think that's amazing. Yeah, thank you. And I feel like not a lot of people do have that skill. Yeah. It's good to be knowledgeable in like everything. Absolutely. Before you know, you were, you know, with the label and with yeah. all of this, were you? controlling everything like were you doing your music yeah. videos were you yeah. doing all of that yourself yeah most definitely like i was engineering myself i was producing myself i was um like i said i would i would either buy a camera and give it to one of the homies or somebody Hold like, it like this yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like, absolutely you know so it's like it's been a lot of that and it helps because in situations to where i do have assistance now you know like i have an engineer um i have producers that i work with i have cameramen now um, I could just give my personal, um, what I like and what I don't like and things like that. Sometimes I could sit down at the computer and engineer my own music or I can chime in. Like a lot of the things, a lot of the songs that you'll hear on the EP too are like co-produced. Yeah. You know, by me as well. Like I had That's an input amazing. on the air. So, um, I just like to be involved, you know, hundred percent. That must be so surreal to you where, yeah. you know, there was one point in your life, you, even though you're still hands on, yeah. it was all you. Absolutely. And now all of a sudden you have people to help you, you got yeah. your team, like. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to trust other people too, oh, you know, course. with your with your art and your craft. Course. But you know, um, like I said, I have a great team and I'm learning to trust them and, and, you know, we just move forward like this. And it's a fun, it's a fun process. So. You know, where did your flow come from? What musicians, rappers, R&B artists have you listened to growing up? Yeah, um, I mean, I was, I, I grew up in a household of like old school, like R&B, you know, the Ozzy Brothers, the OJs, um, Teddy Pendergrass, you know, and, and my dad played the saxophone as well. So it was a lot of like smooth jazz in the household. So, um, you know, down to Usher, you know, down to Usher, Chris Brown's is Eric Bellinger. Yeah. Um, Bryson. Uh, Trey Songs, Jacquees, you know, the list goes yeah, on. I, yeah. I just, I've just been a fan of the game and I'm just a fan of music, even down to Drake, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he's been killing the game for so many years. He really so, has been. yeah, yeah, he's been bodying, he he's been bodying the game, yeah, for years. Yeah. So, I've just been a fan of like music, you yeah. know, I love music and yeah, I love to consume music all the time. Yeah, and what like got you to tap in with it? You know, you were listening to it, but what was like, you know what, this is it. Like, I think this is what I'm gonna do and I'm ready. Yeah, it was a it was a moment um, when I was younger. I remember uh, Take Care, out, the album, Drake's Take Care. Yeah, it came out. <laughs> it has me to choke hold. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's in my opinion, it's a classic, you know, mm -hmm. and I had a moment to where um, I started to love what music did for me, just being the consumer of it, you know what I mean? And I, I wanted to try to give that same feeling. 
to others. Yeah. You know, so that was the moment that I really like decided to go hands on with the music. Yeah, it's so crazy mm. how many people love that album. Yeah. And how many people it's inspired. Yeah. It brings me, yo, it brings me back to a time where yeah. life was things were simple. Yeah. And like just the whole album is so therapeutic. Yeah, it is. I feel you. It was really vulnerable, man. Like, yeah. you know, it, that's when music was really vulnerable, vulnerable. and very meaningful. So you know, we definitely trying to like chime in with that, you know, even just with my music, just keeping it keeping it real, you know what I'm saying? Like just keeping things real and just keeping it vulnerable and letting people know who I am. You know, I pull from things like or and artists from like Drake and down to Nipsey Hussle, down to Eric Bellinger, down to just all the people that I've named, Usher, every you know. Yeah. Yeah. I've listened to a lot of your tracks and like yeah. you give that vulnerability to people yeah, and you're you. so real with that yeah absolutely. and i think a lot of people are going to appreciate that thank you so much i you appreciate know. that yeah thank you so much for sitting down with us of course um i really enjoyed listening to you know your come up and everything that's going on right now and thank we are looking you. forward to seeing what you do this year appreciate you having me